Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to Construct Animate, a browser-based animation software. Here it is, uh, you can use it right in the browser at animate.construct.net, uh, so it's super easy to get started with. And let me just give you a quick summary of uh, what you can do with it. Here's an example um, of an animated sort of splash screen. So uh, here is the layout view where you place objects and design your um, objects. And down here is the timeline bar where you can see a sequence of keyframes uh, demonstrating changes that will happen over time. And you can see how I can scrub along through that. And I can also preview the animation inside the editor. I can also preview by uh, clicking the play button up here and I'll open a pop-up window and show what the animation looks like. There's several export options. Uh, let me just quickly show you how those work. So if you go to the export option in the menu, there is a web export, there are desktop exports and a playable web export. But the main three are at the top here. First of all, there's a video export, so you can get your animation as a video file. You can get them in both WebM and MP4 formats with a couple of different codecs. Uh, and if I export that, it runs faster than real time, so you don't have to wait as long as the animation. And uh, there I have it. Here's a video file uh, with that animation in it, which I can then share onto some other tool or service, such as uploading to YouTube. I'll just very quickly show the other two export options. There's also image sequence, which will just export your whole animation uh, with each frame in an individual image file, uh, in this case, PNG files. Um, and there you go. So there's a long list of files inside this zip file with every single frame. That's good for advanced video encoding or importing to other tools. And last but not least, uh, good old fashioned GIF file. It's been around since the 80s, it's still going strong. Uh, so you can get one of those and this is highly compatible. Um, many services and uh, apps will uh, be able to use GIF files. And there we go, there's a GIF animation. You can also share it directly from Construct. Now, let me just give you a quick demonstration of how you can make a new animation in Construct Animate. So I'm going to create a new project and here's my empty blank canvas um, in the layout view here. I can just drag and drop image files from the desktop into Construct, and there's our piggy. And now I'm going to add that to the timeline so I can animate it. And to add it to the timeline down here, I can just drag and drop it, and a track appears for this object here. Now I'm going to make the piggy move into the screen, so I'm going to start by moving it outside of the screen, um, and I'll just rotate it a little bit as well. And then I can enter editing mode on the timeline. I'm going to move the current time to two and a half seconds on the ruler along the timeline bar. And then I'm just going to drag the piggy onto the screen and rotate it. So that means this is where it will be and how it will look at the time two and a half seconds. Then I just click set keyframes and that's created a um, animation that will move the piggy into that place and rotate it along the way. Nice and easy. Now, to make the animation just a little bit more interesting, I can change the ease to, let's go with out elastic, and now it looks like that. I'm just going to add one more thing into this animation. I'm going to throw in the Construct Animate logo as well. So again, I'll just drag and drop that in. I'll move it off screen, and I'll add that to the timeline bar. And once again, I choose, this time I'm going to choose uh, four seconds time on the timeline to move it up to here. And I'll set keyframes there. So now that will also, oh, need to rewind the current time, play from the beginning. And you can see it moving slowly in there. Again, let's make this a little bit more interesting. So first of all, I can change the path mode for the logo um, to a cubic bezier and this allows me to design a curve. So now I can make it come in on a curved path, like that. And once again, I can change the ease to something a bit more exciting. Let's go with in-out elastic this time. And that will now look like that, coming onto the screen with a little bounce. So first, uh, to make sure this timeline plays 
uh, straight away before I preview the project I'll change the start on layout option to layout one that's this layout here and then when I preview the project we can see both these objects fly in one after the other with a nice bounce due to the ease mode and now if I um, export that I can get a video file with that animation in that's how quickly I can get results so let's get an mp4 video file that's widely supported it will encode the video for me and then I can get my mp4 file and there we have it that's the animation I just created just now with two objects flying into the screen and I can take that and share it somewhere else that's how easy it is to get started with Construct Animate. You can try it out today. Visit animate.construct.net or visit construct.net website for more information. Uh, thanks. We hope you enjoy using Construct.